And I'll speak here personally now, and then we're going to wrap up. If Jews learn anything from the Holocaust, it should be that that kind of treatment meted out to the Jewish people should never be tolerated anywhere under any circumstances. And for Israel to study what the Nazis did in the Warsaw Ghetto, in its plans to attack and kill Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, read about it in Haaretz, look it up online, to learn from the Nazis is disgusting and cannot be condoned. So you're comparing the Jews of today to the Nazis of, of, of Europe? Israel, no, military no, leaders no, 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 looked at no, 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 Nazi plans for the Warsaw Ghetto to learn how to prosecute their war and occupation against the Gaza Strip. That's an Israeli newspaper that said that, not me. I didn't, make any, I didn't make any comparison. I didn't say that Israel is Nazi. No, I said that Israel is studying the plans of the Nazis to formulate their plans. What does that tell you? What, is, what does that tell you? The article Josh Rubner is referring to is by Amir Oren, published in Haaretz on January of 2002. Now, Amir Oren does not cite the names of the Israeli officer or his comrades who made these, quote, Israel is using Nazi tactic comments that Josh calls fact. What this tells me, Josh, is that you will stoop to any level using unverifiable sources to further your false and hate-filled anti-Israeli agenda. Shame on you, Rubner. And shame on your in-the-occupation propagandists.